Hey beauties, good uh, evening to you. All right, beautiful people. I find that intermittently I have to make videos of this nature because especially in this climate and this season that we're in, this hot, humid, I mean, hot is, is, an, is an understatement to the kind of heat that we're facing, you know, in the country here now. You know, the time is as you wonder sometimes even after nine o'clock at night, 10 o'clock, if it's actually nine, 10 o'clock at night, it's raging hot, you know? And because of that, our perspiration doubles, it triples, my beautiful people. You have to take stock, take inventory on your body, on your odor, from head to toe, from toe to head. There are certain sacred parts on our body that will perspire. If, if everywhere, as let us say, generally is double, it will be fopple. Four times. And you know the private areas and certain creases and crevices. You have to take inventory. You have to take stock. It's very hot. Gone are the days, back in the days when, you know, you never had so many motor vehicles, personal and private motor vehicles. And people would take the public transportation and people would come on there. Their arm is as green as the luscious, luscious lawns that we pass and see when we're passing certain places. Green. It's too green to be beheld and to smell. It, it's horrible. Smell bad because you don't bathe and you're going somewhere where people are. First, you start with the bus and then you go and probably some people wonder if it's worth they're going to smell horrible. Horrible. I don't know if people still practice that. Going on the road, not taking a shower. Let us say if you're having, you're in your personal motor vehicle, you're probably dropping somebody down the road. You know for a fact that you may not come on the road. Still check yourself. If you realize I'm not smelling too good enough, anything can happen. You can have a flat tire, something can go wrong and you have to come out of your motor vehicle. So ensure you're dressed properly. You know, they always have on good underwear and ensure that you don't smell bad. When I went to the gala, I couldn't believe a whiff came and I said, what is this? It was really hot at the gala, but even then, people, you know it is extremely hot. You have to bathe properly. You have to use a good deodorant that works well with your body. Oh, and and it, it, there is a symbiotic relationship between you and the deodorant. The chemistry is good. It's like you found your soulmate in the deodorant. You have to be, you have to be cognizant of that. Too many of you smell bad. And you know that you're going to a place where there are a whole heap of people, a plethora of people. It's not nice when you're going and people, you wonder what the heck is going on. What's going on if people have not seen water in days? If they have not seen a good soap in days or a good deodorant? And in this time, you, you know, I mean, unless you suffer from a, a medical condition or you have really extremely bad sinusitis, wear a good perfume, a good cologne for the men, perfume for the women. In this day and age, you can't just leave yourself bland. It's too hot. And you put it in, in the creases, like your, you know, hair, in the, in the creases of your arms. Or behind your ear. Behind your um, your knee there. You put it in the creases so that when it, even when it perspires and it gets, the, the beautiful, magnificent scent of that perfume and cologne comes off. You have to be cognizant of your body odor. It is awful. So even if you're in your personal vehicles and you know that you, you say, you know what, I do, I, about more than 24 hours pass, I'm going to be in a minute. Although we're going down the road and dropping off somebody, I think I'm just going to take a quick shower. You know, you don't have to put on a whole van dangles and so forth in a case like that. But ensure that you, you know, you don't smell bad. Once you don't smell bad, it's a case where you probably bathed maybe just a couple of hours before and you're just going to drag on something and you just hope and pray and nothing will go wrong. You know, where you have to come out of your car for some reason. So you have on a, you have on proper clothing and you have and and you um you you don't smell bad. It's not nice. It's a disrespect to people. What you're saying is that I don't respect you. So I'm coming out with my bad odor to strangle you, to stifle you to death. Forget the pillows over the faces. My odor will just kill you. Graveyard dead. It is not nice. It is not it's a disrespect to people. To come on the road your mouth smells bad your body smells bad your hair smells bad 
you have to take stock, take inventory. It's not good. And I say this, I mean, I talk with passion, but because this is so bad, we're living in a modern day, we live in a 21st century. It's not like back in the day when a black and white TV are the one, them, when the color probably just come in, you yeah, turn on it, gritty, 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 go around. And you, never, you didn't know a lot of things. You should not be ignorant of these things now. And get a good about it, you know, some of them stinking soap there. But get a good soap. I'm going to tell you, you have to buy the most expensive in the world. You know, but get a good soap. Bathe properly. Make sure your rag is clean and good. And bathe yourself properly. You know? Don't dry. If your skin is dried out and so forth, get a good moisturizer. So baby may have to use a good baby oil. Because your skin is that. It's like crocodile skin. It's coarse. It's gritty, gritty. You know? Maybe I forgot soap for days and some um, shea butter or something of the sort. But outside of that take care of yourself your mouth and your body you're going on the road and you're dealing with people the first sign of communication and respect and honor people is your odor your dress code and when i say dress code i'm not talking about somebody like shorts versus pants i'm talking about wearing something that's old and worn and torn bad color stay looks bad blacky blacky you know look awful Torn and no, 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 you boogie in your eye, matter in your nose. Oh, oh yeah, matter in your eye, boogie in your nose. Come on, man, you have to do better than that, my beauties. It's a disrespect to people. I'm telling you, I am telling you, this is it's serious. I couldn't believe it, you know. And I said, No, man, I have to do a vlog on it. I forgot when we because the grand gala was so boring. I said, You know, let me speak on it. Come on, guys, do better than this. Anyway, share this, please, because it can help people. Especially if you know people who mm -mm, need help. Follow me and add. Oh, let me add this. If it's a medical condition, you need to speak with the doctor what you can use to help to mitigate and to eradicate as best as possible bad odor. Some people you don't drink enough water, you don't eat the right foods, your clothes is not washed properly, and you're not bathing properly, you're not using good deodorant. And you need to use for the men cologne, women perfumes. Please respect your people. Respect people when you go on the road. Look clean. Even if you, I mean, you want to sweat and all of that, yes, but ensure that even when you sweat, you're not smelling bad. And you have to shower more than the usual. You come in, you get rid of the dirty clothes and so forth, and you take a shower. You know, even if you're married or you're not, and you, you bathe. Smell right. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message. Thank you.